Hello, good evening. Hi, it is good evening. Hi, Sarah. Good evening. How are you? Very well. Well, I I feeling sick today. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but I think I ate something that that make me uh, feel sick. My stomach feel uh -huh, feel sick to my stomach. Mm -hmm. Yes, but, but do you feel like fire on your the stomach? Yes, or something like that. There's very noisy. <laughs> okay. My stomach, you know. <laughs> you just remind you just reminded me of that song that said, "This girl is on fire." <laughs> I don't know why. It just reminded me of that. Song. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh, but have you had something for your stomach or? Yes, or, well, okay. I've been drinking, how to say, suero. Oh, that's an interesting one. It's actually called, um, oh, I forgot the word right now. You saw them? Suero. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's look for it. Sure, this is what I'm thinking of. <clears throat> It's like Gatorade, right? Yeah. Like electrolyte. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Okay. Hmm. Well, it actually, it's actually called rehydration drink. Rehydration. Mm -hmm. Rehydration. Like Pedialyte. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm looking okay. for it. Rehydration drink. Oh, let me show you. I was looking for it. Uh -huh. And that's how it's called. Oops. Let me see. Share uh, computer. Okay. So see, like this one, like this one. So it's called dehydration. It's when it, it's to avoid you getting dehydrated. So rehydration, mm -hmm. it's the opposite. By the way, that's our yeah. topic today, antonyms. Hydration mm -hmm. and dehydration. Uh -huh. So that would be the opposite. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. So it's a okay. rehydration drink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I hope you recover, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Pablo and Eric, good evening. Sara, good evening. How are you guys doing today, tonight? Good evening, teacher. I'm really cool right now. Mm -hmm. I am tired because I woke up really early today, but right now I am on, on my shift as usual, but I am happy to be here. Okay, super, super. Okay, oh, welcome. Sara and Eric, how was your day? Fine, teacher. Thank you. A uh, little busy, but is the same thing or the same way? Or the uh, sorry, uh, the is the the style of the life of my life? Like your everyday uh, routine. Your everyday routine. Okay. My, my mm -hmm. everyday routine. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Super. Okay, Eric, good evening, how are you? How's on Sonata tonight? Wait. Well, today is uh, a little bit uh, colder than yesterday because, because of the rain, but doing good. Okay, okay, nice to hear that. Is it raining right now over there? No, no, today okay. no. Oh, okay, yesterday, it rained yesterday, okay. Yeah. Okay, super. Well, thank you so much for joining tonight. A, our topic, I sent you guys a book. It's a, not a kindergarten book, but it's super cool because it actually shows you antonyms or other grammatical topics in a fun way. So I hope you go over it, especially the words. Don't go over the words you know, but go over the words you don't know, okay? okay. What is an yes. antonym? It's simple. It's the synonym of an opposite word, right? We have synonyms, which are words that are alike, well, we have antonyms that are words that are different, right? For example, black, white. White. Yes? Mm -hmm. no. For yes? Oh. No. Okay. No. Very good. So, and then we have more words, but then again, 
I want to start the I want to start the, the introduce the topic with a fun game. Do you remember when you were in high school and you played something called bachillerato? Stop. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna play with antonyms from A to C. So if you have a comp if you're working on a computer, you can do it on Excel. Okay. Oh. You could do something like this. I'm gonna show you. I don't. Are you able to see my my Excel spreadsheet? Yes. Okay. So uh, these are all my antonyms. So don't, just don't don't be don't cheat. Okay. Don't copy my. <laughs> so we're gonna. I want you to make rows from A to Z. Okay. Now we have various or different antonyms. We have verbs, we have adjectives because they're just words that are opposite of another word, okay? So we're gonna, do, we're gonna start, we're gonna play Bachelato Stop with categories. So our first, I'm gonna give you time so you can write down your, if you don't have Excel, you can do it on a, on a notebook or on a page or on a spreadsheet or as you feel comfortable, okay? So what I want you to do individually is to come up with one verb for each letter. So a verb that starts with the letter A, and it's opposite. A verb that starts with the letter B, and it's opposite. It's okay if you don't find all of them, because then I will share a list with you at the end of the class. But I want to see where everybody is standing, okay? A verb, not an adjective, not a noun, a verb, an action. So I want you to write the action and its opposite. For example, for the letter A, just to give you an example. Okay, I would, I would write down accept or admit. And I would write down the opposite of accept, for example, for the letter B, for the letter C. It's okay if the antonym of that word doesn't start with the same letter. It doesn't have to start. What I'm interested on, it's for you to write a verb from A to C that starts with that letter. A verb with A, a, a verb with B, a verb with C, and so on, okay? So I'll give you like two minutes for you to make your list. Okay. If you don't know the verb, just jump to the next letter. Jump to the next letter. It's okay. You don't have to know all the verbs, okay? So go ahead and do the extras. Only verbs. Don't cheat with Google. We have to, to do it with all the, the letters, A yes. to Z. Yes, one verb for each letter. Okay. With, from A to Z, and it's opposite. Okay.
what letter are you guys in right now? <laughs> I am in the H. H, okay. Yeah. Eric? I just have three or four of them. Okay, don't worry. It is? With the letter E. E, okay. Sara? Yeah. Uh, sorry, teacher. I have problems with the with Ethernet. And I just I just have three because okay. I'm trying to connect again or reconnect. And I just have admit and refuse. Blank, bl um, like big blink 182. <laughs> blink <laughs> is uh, watch or see. Close open. Um, sorry. It's okay. Don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna work together on it. Okay. H. I'm gonna I'm going to work with you guys. Oh, she disconnected. Okay. So we are playing Jocelyn Bachelato stop. So you have to like if you have Excel or your notebook, <clears throat> write on Excel or on your notebook the a verb from A to Z. A verb with A, with B, with C, and it's opposite. Now it's okay if you don't know. If there's a letter all of a sudden and you don't know a verb or because it's only for verbs, not adjectives, not nouns, just verbs, okay? So okay. An, okay. An, an, Thank you. a verb with A, with B, with C, and then opposites. <clears throat> Some of you are here in letter H, which are always done, almost done. Okay. Give you a couple more minutes to see. There is one, I think, for X. There's none for X, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. I think that's the only one that doesn't have X. Solo tiene que pagar algo administrativo, es voy a verificar si los impuestos están iguales. By the way, bachillerato stop in English, this is a fun fact, it's called category. Like the game I, yes, like the game I, I showed you guys the other day. You can actually play it online. I'll show you later on. But it's called categories. Okay. In English. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Almost. What letter are you guys in right now? Tell me. Keep me posted. I am in K, K letter. Okay, letter K. Okay. Sara, Iris, what about you, Eric? Pablo? Oh, Pablo, over at K. Uh -huh. It's not easy. I know, it's okay, I know. Because <laughs> yeah, you have to think like only of thinking. verbs. I know, it's okay, yeah. don't worry. What do you guys have? Let's get started with A. What do you guys have for letter A? All right. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's go to my list on A. What do you guys have? Arrive. Yeah. Uh huh. What do you have for the opposite of arrive? Leave. Okay. Or look at my screen. Are you able to see my screen? No. No. Can you guys see my screen or no? No. Okay. Uh, okay. There you go. Are you able to see my screen right now? Okay. Yes. Okay. So arrive. Very good. It's it can be leave or depart. In your case, Pablo, you're gonna use depart, right? For arrivals, departures. So it's the opposite. Very good. Okay. 
Um, what about you, Edie, Sarah, and Eric? What do you have for letter A? Accept. Very good. Let's see. Accept. What do you have? What's the opposite? Refuse. Very mm -hmm. good. Or decline. Okay. So you can write it there. Mm -hmm. Have for your list. Okay. Decline or refuse. Excellent. Very good. What about you, A, Sarah? What do you have for letter A? Or Eric? What do you have for letter A, Eric? No, I didn't have one. Okay. Well, we have several, right? For example, absent, present. Okay. Add, subtract, for example. So you can add one of my options here. Okay. Affirm. Deny, for example. Agree, disagree. There's another one. Jocelyn, what do you have for letter A? Um, I don't have with letter A. It's okay, don't worry. But you can add one of the ones on the list. I'm gonna share this list at the end of the class though, okay? What about letter B? What do you guys have for letter B? Or I think Board? it was difficult for me because I I, I wrote bake, but okay. I don't know the antonym of bake. Maybe oh, it's okay. not cool. I don't know. And I heard Pablo, you said board, right? Yes, yes. But is board on a verb? No, like B O R N board. Ah, born. Okay. Yeah. Mm, no. Because then again, it's a passive. It's a helping. I I am. I was born. Or I am bored still. It's passive. Well, let's go to yeah. letter B. Let's go ahead and check out our list here. I'll help you guys out. Let's see. Back in front. No. Backwards. No. Back. No. Backwards. No. Begin. It's an action. Okay. The opposite is end. That could be one. You can add it to your list. Okay. Um, let's see. Bent. Mm -hmm. Also, blame. Okay. I blame you. Okay. For example, when you blame somebody for doing something, whether good or, or, or bad, okay. right? Um, borrow. Lend. The opposite. You can borrow something from someone or to someone. Um, break, repair. Okay. What about letter C? What do you guys have for letter C? Do you guys have something for letter C? I have catch, catch, catch. Attack. And what's the opposite? Um, throw. Very good. And it can also be used for letter T. Catch and throw. Okay. Yeah. Or uh, yeah. vice versa. Okay, very good. Catch. That's a good one. Okay. What about you guys? What do you have for letter C? Come. Come? Come with us. Yes. Go. Uh huh. Okay, um, very good. The antonym is go. Go away. Very good. Here. Uh -huh. You could use it with G or, or with C. Okay. Okay. Go, the opposite is stop or come uh -huh. or all the way around. Come, the opposite is go. But excellent, mm -hmm. very good, very good option. Mm -hmm. Anybody else would see? Well, it, it is a verb, it is a verb come, but to come, C O M B. Oh, come, yeah, like to come your hair? Yes. Uh huh, yeah, you can come. But what would be the opposite? Mm, I'm come. Very good. Uncomp. It's not in my list, but it's actually a very good one. You can actually mm -hmm. say professional, unprofessional. So the opposite also for that. Uh -huh. Very good. Comp or uncomp. Mm -hmm. Or, e let me see, let me see. Uh, yeah, it's the only one that I have. Okay, very good. I like that one. Comp and uncomp. I'm going to add it to the list. Because I don't have it. Okay, very good, very good. Any other one with letter C? 
No? What about letter D? What's your verb with letter D? Die. Die. Okay. What would be the opposite of dying? Um, live. <laughs> Find out if we have live. Very good. Live or die. I have it in letter L, but it's good. Very good. For letter D, die. And the opposite, live. Huh? Anybody else with letter D? No letter D? As David? No. no? Okay, let me give you a couple of ones. Um, let me see. Damage? You can damage, the opposite is improve. Um, let me see, decrease, increase. Um, disappear, appear. Destroy. Destroy, what would be the, the opposite of destroy? Build. Very good, build, okay. I'm a, let me see if I have it under build. Very good, build, destroy, excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are some examples for letter D. What about letter E? Okay, enter. Okay, let's see. Enter, mm -hmm. and the opposite is leave. Okay, maybe I have it under leave. Let's find out. No, I don't have it, but it's a good no. one. I'll, I'll add it to my list. No, of course, okay. it's a good one. Um, so you have enter mm -hmm. and leave, okay? Mm -hmm. Or also arrive and leave. Let's see if I have it under arrive. No, I have the part. But yeah, it, it's okay. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. Enter and leave, okay? Another one? I have I have been erased by but I'm not sure about the the opposite because I I think in write because when you you may write something and then you can erase them but I am not sure about it. But it's a it's possible. I would say it's possible. Uh huh. Erase and write. For me, it's possible. Yeah, because they're opposite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's good. Any other one? Let's go with letter F. What do you guys have for letter F? I write find. I wrote. Mm -hmm. I wrote Under. find. Find. And, um, okay. Uh -huh, loose. Loose. Excellent. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Letter F, guys. Eric, Pablo. Fly, for example. A fly? Yeah. Okay. And the opposite will be um, fall, fall down. Or maybe or walk. Even, even walk. If you are not flying, you may walk. Don't have it. I don't have none of them. Okay, so but for you it's fly and the opposite would be um fold. I think flow uh, fold. Okay. Or maybe forget and the opposite will be remember. Very good. Forget is a good one. Mm -hmm. Forget. <laughs> Very good. Forget. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any other one? Any other of you guys? Forget and remember. Forget and remember. Yeah. You remember and you forget. Any other with F? Or maybe focus. Very good. What would be the opposite? Getting lost. <laughs> What would be the opposite of, of focus? 
Focus, you said, right? Okay. Yeah, focus. Uh, I don't have it. What's the opposite of it? Maybe getting lost or mm. being, being distracted. Found. For lost, I have found. Found sí, enough, for example. Okay. Any other one with F? No. Okay, don't worry. Let's go with the next one. What about G? What do you have for letter G? Go. Go? Yeah, go and come. Very good, go and come. I, let it, I have it for letter G, but it's okay if you have it for letter G. Go and come, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another one? G? Any other one for G? No. No. Okay, let's go with the next one. Don't worry. Uh, I great. have go. I have great. Very good. I have, but then again, it's it needs to be a verb. Right now, we're only mm -hmm. with verbs because we have verbs in this list. We have all sorts of words. We have verbs. We have adverbs. We have um adjectives okay so the idea right now is just to focus on verbs i know it's difficult but it's fun because i'm making you think and then you have to think from a to z on a verb i know it's difficult but it's it's a thinking a critical thinking exercise okay um with with d i have gather okay the opposite is distribute distribute right and then we have give receive the opposite give of giving receive um grant refuse um let me see another one here guilty innocent that's another one okay very good what about with letter h what do you guys have for letter h that's a difficult one right i have help here. Very good. Help. The opposite of help is. Excuse me. The opposite will be. Hinder. Very good. Hinder. Mm -hmm. Hinder. Uh -huh. Any other word? Yeah. Huh? Hungry. Hungry? What about yes. hungry? What's the opposite of hungry? Um, satisfied. Let's, let's find out. Hungry? Hmm. I am hungry. It's a passive verb uh, because the verb is am. So it's like a helping verb. I am hungry. So it's am is the verb, the verb be. So it's a passive verb. But mainly we're, we're focused on active verbs, okay? More than passive verbs, because you say, I am furious, I am hungry, I am tired. So am is the verb. It's like a helping verb. So in this case, that would be a helping verb of the main verb. <clears throat> Think of other verbs, guys. Jocelyn, Radames. We're playing like bachelorato stuff with verbs from A to Z. Mm -hmm. Hi. For antonyms. Mm -hmm. With H. High and found. High oh, of alto. Right. Yeah. High and low. I have high and low. No. High. Uh... What's the opposite of high? Found. 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 Oh, but I have lost for found. You mean have. No, uh, uh, well, I said hi to hide something. Ah, hide. hi. I'm sorry. H -I -D -E. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. No. Mm -hmm. Because then, as, then again, I am hiding something or I hide something from someone. Okay. But what would be the opposite for hide? But it's a good one. What's the opposite oh. for hide? 
I guess would be fine. Uh, found. Okay. Very good. Uh huh. You hide. You find. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, just Will be help with is destroy. Help with destroy. Mm -hmm. mm, let's find out. Destroy. What do you have? Build for destroy. You mm -hmm. build something and then you destroy something. Mm -hmm. Uh, what about a uh, hit? Hit? What's the opposite of hit? Um, fail? I'm sorry? Fail? Fail. For failure, I have accomplishment. So it could be accomplishment, something you accomplish, and then you fail. I accomplished um, and I failed. So it's a verb. Mm -hmm. I know it's Happy difficult. And sad. Happy and sad. But then again, those are helping. I am happy. I am sad. So those are helping verbs. They're very good. Yeah, you can have happy and sad, happy and mad. Um, Okay, so those are helping verbs. Mm -hmm. Okay. H, I, what do you guys have for I? Oh, well, yeah, I. What do you guys have for increase, I? Increase, increase, decrease. What's the opposite? Decrease. Decrease or reduce? Increase, decrease. Or, no. uh -huh. or, or reduce. reduce. Okay. Reduce, mm -hmm. very good. Reduce. Another one? Inbound. I'm sorry? What about inbound? Inbound. What's inbound. the opposite? What's the opposite? Outbound. I don't have it inbound and outbound but as an action as a verb or as a noun i don't think i don't I think thinking inbound, as a verb. Mm -hmm. give me an example of inbound in a in a sentence how would you use it as a verb as an action inbound traffic okay uh -huh. oh, it sounds more like a noun Incoming. right Incoming, know. maybe. Incoming. Incoming traffic. Or incoming. Uh huh. Yeah, inbound incoming. and outbound. Mm -hmm. It's it's like a category, it so a, it becomes a noun. Yeah, it's a noun more than a yeah. more than a than uh, an action. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. good though. Yeah. The opposite is good. Inbound and outbound, both are correct. Mm -hmm. But they are not verbs in this case. Mm -hmm. Invite. Invite. Okay. Let's find out. Mm -hmm. What would invite. be the opposite for invite? And the antonym reject. Okay, reject, deny, or admit. Mm -hmm. Opposites. Admit, deny. Admit, okay. reject. And you said with letter E, it was invite. Decline, I would say. Maybe. No, I don't have any. Import is a bear teacher. Invite. Import. 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 De importar. Yeah. I don't have it. Import, export. Mm -hmm, very good. I have it in export, but it's okay for import and the opposite export. Mm -hmm. Super. That's a good one. You can import products and export products, mm -hmm, for example. Any other one with I? Um, inhale, I have... exhale. Mm -hmm. 
or invent? Invent? Mm -mm. What's your opposite for invent? I think maybe will be destroyed too. Invent, I... destroy? Mm. Mm, maybe invent on invent could be also the opposite. Mm -hmm. Any other one with I? I have inhale, exhale as a verb. Um, and I think increase, decrease, we spoke about that one. Um, ignore and notice. Okay, when you ignore someone and you then you notice there was a, there's somebody there. Mm. What about identify? Identify, what's the opposite? Unidentify? What's the opposite? What would be the opposite for identify? Yeah. By, um, ignore. Ignore. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's find out for ignore. Maybe I have some. Yeah. Notice. Uh, ignore. Mm -hmm. And identify. No. No. It is a verb, but we would have to identify. And unidentify, maybe. What happens is that sometimes some verbs do not have like an, a complete antonym. They just have a prefix that makes it go negative. Professional, unprofessional. But there's not going to be a word, an antonym, it's say. What, what the difference between a suffix and an antonym is that a suffix, it's also an opposite of something positive. It's like the negative and positive. But with the difference that you just add the un, unprofessional, untidy, unhealthy, to say to make it in a negative way. But antonyms complete both words sometimes are gonna be opposite, like yes, no, they're completely opposite words. Versus a having a prefix before the verb the word the verb, it will only tell you something whether positive or negative. In this case, it's negative. The majority of prefixes are gonna be. It's a professional, unprofessional, responsible, unresponsible, um, a unhealthy, healthy. So it's always a negative to add a prefix to a word. But still, it's an opposite because you're having a positive and a negative word in a different way, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about letter O? Moving to letter O, what do you guys have for letter O? On. Off. On, off. Very good. Yeah, I do have it though. On and off. But it's not a verb. A verb. What is on and off? It's a helping. The switch is on. The, turn the switch off, for example. The verb is turn. So it's a helping one. Mm -hmm. Close. Close and open? I'm sorry? Yeah. Open and close. Open. Very good. Open and close. Mm -hmm. I open the door. I close the door. Mm -hmm. Yes. Any other one with O? You can offer. You can refuse. Um, let me see here. Mm -hmm. Another one. I will send this list. Don't worry, okay? So you don't have to copy it. Um, let me see. Over, mm -hmm. under, outside. No. The rest are not verbs. So I would say the only one I offer and refuse. Uh -huh. What about letter P? With P? What do you guys have? Pay. Pay? What's the opposite? Uh.
I'm not sure. Is it like debt? Come on, debt, debt. O. I don't know. Ah, like O. Oh. oh, let me write it down because you're not gonna see it. All right, can you see my find and replace words? So O mm -hmm. and pay, for example. Mm -hmm. This would be mm -hmm. how it. Uh -huh. oh, o okay. and pay. O Very good. is the verb. Okay. O is the oh. verb. Uh -huh. oh. It's a good okay. one though. I don't have it, but it's a it's a good one. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a good one for O. So pay and O. O and pay. Mm -hmm. Or vice versa, pay and O. Mm -hmm. Because I don't have I. Very good. Okay, so for homework, I want you to do the rest of them. Try to do an exercise for yourself, okay? But do it, try not to use it. Then again, Try not to use Google unless you want to find out if it's a verb or not. That's the only way, okay? But not to find, try to just go and exercise on your own so you can actually play around with it. And I'm going to send you the okay. list, okay? Because I will share this list with you. Here you will have, then again, it's a mix of words that are opposites, okay? okay? Now, I want us to do this other exercise, which is a little bit more easy than the one we're doing right now. Are you able to see my PowerPoint or no? Can you see my PowerPoint presentation? No, no, no. no. Okay, let me reshare again here. Okay, so only see, only see your. Uh, Can you see it now? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. Super. So in this case, we're gonna do. Now we were playing a little bit with verbs, but in this case, we have other sorts of words that are easier to go over. For example, the first one for you, what would be the antonym for hot? Cold. 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 Okay. Cold. Very good. Now, I have a question. What is hot and what is cold? Is it a verb? Is it an adjective? Is it a preposition? What is it? Um, it's an adjective. Excellent. It's an adjective because it's describing. It's describing. Very good. Number two, which is the word, which is, which is the antonym for short? <coughs> long, long, long. <coughs> then again, it's an adjective, right? Yes. yes. Okay, what about the next one? What about wet? Dry. Dry. Very good. What is soaked? So I don't know. Is is it like ahogarse? No. It's yes, but no? it's more like, like for clothes when you're wet, and but when you uh -huh. get wet, but really, really wet. Mm -hmm. you, and that you're like pouring water out of you. Ah, okay, so you say, oh, okay. I am soaking wet, soaked. So mm -hmm. it's empapadísimo. Ah, you can also use it with clothing. Whenever the clothes are inside a recipient and, and you mm -hmm. take them out and they're soaking wet. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Mm -hmm. That's so very good. What so. about... Uh, what's the antonym for many? Few. Few. Very good. Mm -hmm. Few. Very good. Few. What about dark? Bright. 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 What is foggy and what is okay? Bright. Bright. What is Bright. what is foggy? Bright. What is foggy, guys? Come on, Neblina. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. So then again, it's describing. So we're still with adjectives. What about fast? Slow. 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 Okay. Slow. Very good. What about loose? Win. 
Very good. What about loud? This is another one. Quiet. Very good. So you can be quiet. And we had another one here. I saw another one. Hmm. Okay, what about bad? Good. Good. Yeah. Good. What about lose? Oh, I'm sorry, we had this one already. What about give? Take. 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 Very good. Take. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, now. As you see here, you're just going to see them from here because I'm going to take away my screen. I'm going to give you words. So these are easy. And I'm going to start getting a little bit more difficult, a couple of more difficult words. And I want you to give me the antonym of those words. But I'm going to start share, stop sharing my screen because I have the answers here. Okay? So um, give me one second, and then I'll go back to the presentation. Okay. So for example, what is the opposite of awake? Sleep. So if I say wake, then you would say sleep. But if I say awake, then you would say? Go to the bed. No, it's the same. But sleep, instead of awake, you would go? Mm. Asleep. 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 Uh -huh. okay. Okay, 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 so awake, mm. asleep. Very good. Oh, What's the opposite of front? Back. Back. Excellent. Big? Small. Fast? Slow. 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 First? Second. Last. <laughs> last. last. <laughs> yeah, first <laughs> and last. Hot? Cold. 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 Very good. What about in? Out. 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 Left, right. Right. right, right, lost, found, found, found. 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 many, few. few, few, on, off, new, off. Excellent. Push, pull, 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 push, pull. Very good. Push and pull. Okay, work. Tie. Nice. Ah, rest. <laughs> rest. rest, rest, rest. Happy. <laughs> Sad. Open. Close. Close. Soft. Soft. Sorry, soft. Hard. Hard. Yeah. Hard. Very good. Sweet. Um. Uh, bitter. bitter. No. Uh -huh. so sour. 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 Very good. Sour. Excellent. Yes. Give. Sour. Take. Give. Take. Take. Whisper. Talk. No, loud, shout. <laughs> ah. Remember? Shout. Yell. Remember yell. The yell. Yes, yell, yes. Yeah. yell shout. Yes. Uh -huh. Wind. Loose. Loose. Wet. Dry. 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 East. South. West. 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 Uh. West. <laughs> West. Strong. Strong. Up. Down. Down. Very Down. good. Natural. Superficial. Superficially. Or Arty. Artificial. 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 Excellent. Artificial. Natural. Artificial. Okay. Uh -huh. Natural. Artificial. Um. Let me see. Okay. Oh, this one's hard. What's the opposite of clean? Daddy. Dirty. Mm -hmm. Day. Night. Night. Very good. Now, I'm going to start asking you a little bit more difficult. This one like so so. What's the opposite mm -hmm. of yin? Oh, what? <laughs> the circle. <laughs> the circle. Uh, black and white. Yin. Yeah. Uh -huh. Digital. The opposite of digital. Analogic. Excellent. Analog. Digital. Analog. Analog. Occidental. Oriental. Oriental. Very good. Um, masculine. Feminine. 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 Very Feminine. good. Feminine. 
automatic like for example manual manual. Excellent. Very manual. Good. manual okay um suffix Adjective, suffix, prefix. Excellent, prefix. Maximum? Minimum. Minimum. Very good, very good. Drunk? Um, sober. <laughs> sober. <laughs> yes, sober. 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 Um, let me see. Let me see. Oh, this is a difficult one, but let's see if you know it. Ancestor? <sighs> Ancestor? Mm -hmm. Descendant. Descendant. Ancestor. 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 Descendant. Descendant. Uh -huh, very good. Optimist. Negative. Pessimist. But Pessimist. negative is still very good. Uh -huh. What's the opposite of? Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me find another one. We have this one. Hmm. These ones are difficult. This is geometry. What's the opposite of <clears throat> international? National. National. Very good. Or domestic. Uh -huh. International or domestic or national. Very good. Young. Old. Old. Dusk. Dawn. Very good. Dusk. Dawn. dawn. Uh -huh. Dusk. Dawn. Excellent. Uh -huh. e latitude. Longitude. Longitude, excellent. Paternal? Maternal. Very good, very good. Wow, and some of them are difficult. I'm going to share my screen so you find out that there were like quite, look, I didn't give you all of them, but see, this one's expand, contract, safety, cursive, print, mm -hmm. forte, piano. But I will share this presentation with you too, okay? So you will have it. So you will find out some antonyms that are quite difficult. And some of them that we did, which are this ones, the ones that were a little bit more easy, natural, artificial, uh, whisper, yell, etc. Okay. So that was our presentation for today. I hope you had fun. Wow. Time flies with you guys. Okay. Try to finish yeah. your bachillerato sopas and exercise then again. Okay. It's more like for you to practice it. Okay. And um, okay. see you tomorrow. Same time. By the way, you will, have, you. you will have homework. I will tell you what your homework is for your presentation tomorrow, okay? But it's, it has to be something fun, so don't worry. It has to be something fun for tomorrow, okay? Okay. So it's Thank you. you. You're welcome, Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. I really enjoyed Thank the you. class. Thank bye -bye. you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. You too. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. bye, guys. Bye.